the painting. Wow, that's great. Okay, and what did you do today? Can you tell me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is it? What did you do today? Yeah. Eat dinner. Okay. Yes, you ate dinner, and then what? What do you have for a dinner? What did you eat? I eat rice and. I ate rice and what else? And um, meat. Okay, rice and meat. Is it correct? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, that's good. And now, can you tell me um? How's the weather today? Yes. How's the weather yeah. today? Is it sunny or rainy? It's sunny. Yes, sunny, sunny. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, for today, we are going to continue to study your book, okay? Yes. Yeah, so, okay, please wait. Let me share it with you. Just please wait for a while. Okay. All right, there you go. Can you see your book? Just let me know if you can see it. Okay, can you see the book now? Yes? Okay, yes. All right, so just a recap of what we had last time. We read the story about, okay, what is it about Sophia saves the day? Yes, okay. So again, uh, Sophia was playing games, or what is this? Um, what is this? Oh, uh, football, that's right. She plays football, but then she broke her knee. Yes, and she went to the clinic. And then there, she was bored because, yes, she was um, in the hospital for three days. Yes. Yes, and Sophia got a pair of, what is this? Binoculars. Okay. Yes. And then when... She tried to watch outside the view outside. She saw a big fire behind the school, right? Here. Now. Yes. Okay, th there's a fire behind the school. And then Sophia told the other people. Yes. And that's why they found out that there was a big fire. And that's the reason why she saves the school. Okay, so I hope you understand or you uh, recall, you recall the story. Now let's do the activity. So this one is to put the story in order. Okay, so just let me know if what's the first one that happened up until the end, okay? Okay. Okay, so what do you think is the first thing that happened in the story? Now you can choose here. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Yeah. Okay. What is the first thing that happened? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the first thing that happened? Just please read the sentence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you can choose here what's the correct answer. What's the first thing that happened yeah, in this story? Sorry? No, no, no. Here, here. Uh, you just have to choose which one is the first sentence. Okay, because we're gonna. Yes. 
Yeah, okay. So for example, I'm going to give you the first one. This is the first one that happened. Okay, number one. Please read. Sophia. Her leg again kicked. Okay, can you please say it again? Kicked. I'm sorry, I can't yes. hear you clearly. Can you please say it again? No, no, no. It's kicked. Very good. No, no, not cake. It's kicked with with an I sound. Kicked. Okay. That's right. Okay, so that's the first thing that happened. What's the second one? After she kicked the ball and hurt her leg, what's the second thing that happened? What did she do after she got hurt? Yes. What did she do after she got hurt? Did she go to I mean did she go to the doctor? Uh, yes. Just choose the sentence, the correct sentence. She went to the hospital and the doctor just knee. 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 Yes, correct. Very knee. good. Okay, after that, what's the third one? After she went to the hospital and checked her knee, what's the uh, third thing that happened? A nurse got got Sophia, and it's X-ray. Okay, a nurse gave Sophia an X-ray. So that's third. Okay, next. Yes. After the nurse gave Sophia an X-ray, what's next? He had to stay. In hospital for two weeks. Yes, exactly. Good job. Okay, you're doing well. Next, number five. The doctor got here a pair. Binocular. Yes, again. A pair of binoculars. Yes, please say it again. A pair of binoculars. Binoculars. Yes. Sophia loved the town. The then a sound a fire near near school. Okay, so you said Sophia looked this one. Sophia looked through them and saw a fire near her school. Yeah. Okay, so that's sixth and seventh. After she saw the fire, she called. She called. She called the fire. Okay, again, it's not called. It's cold. She called. Okay, the fire brigade. Brigade. Yes. Okay. The news, but newspaper wrote a story about Sophia. Very good. Okay, so yes, you did a great job on putting the stories in order, which is great. Okay, so I've seen that you understand what the story is all about. Okay, very good. All right, so we will just keep the fourth activity. Instead, let's try to answer the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, so think about these questions to help you. What is the girl's name? What's her name? Okay, what's the girl's name? Is the girl? Name. Yes. What's her name? Name the girl. 
Sophia. Very good. Okay, so correct. It's Sophia, but I want you to say it properly. You see, her name is Sophia. Yeah, name is Sophia. Very good. Okay, the next question, please read. Where? Here. Where is she? Okay, where is she? She is... Is is she at football. home? Football. In Are you football. sure? Is she in the football court or in the hospital? Is hospital. Correct. She is in the hospital. Okay, that's correct. Next, what is the problem? Yes, please read. What is the problem with the school? Is fire, be fine. Okay, yes, correct. There was a big fire behind her school. Okay, I'm going to write it. There was a big fire behind her school. Yes, I want you to read that. Please read. There was a big fire behind her school. Very good. Okay, and the next question. What does she do? Okay, what, do, what does she do? She called the fire. Call fire. Come here. Fire up. Come up. Uh huh. Again, one more time. That's correct. She called the fire brigade. Yes, one more time. Fire brigade. This one. Fire brigade. Okay, that's correct. All right, so very good. All right, so I can see that you've answered the questions thoroughly. Okay, now this time, uh, let's go to the next. Um, fever. Fever. Do you know what is a fever? Fever. Yes, fever. Do you know what is it? Yeah, in your own language, do you know what is a fever? Mm -hmm. In when we fever yeah. again, yes. yes. When you when you have a fever, it means you're sick or you're ill. Okay, that's what fever okay. means. Okay, so um, do you have a fever? Do you have a fever? <laughs> you do really? Yeah. Oh, I mean this question. Do you have a fever? I don't know. This one. Do you? Yes. Or no? Do you have a fever? Yes. Yes. Today? No. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm asking. Oh, last year. <laughs> okay, good. Yes. So you haven't experienced it this year, right? Yes. Okay, wow. That's good. Okay. So you said, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. Because I'm asking about now. Okay. So what did you do when you had a fever? Yes, this one. What did you do when you had a fever? Yes, can you tell me? What did you do when you had a fever? What did you do when you had a fever? Uh huh. Can, can you tell me? Yes, can you answer the question? What did you do when you had a fever? Did you rest? Did you take medicine? Or what? Any answer? Yes. 
Yeah. Uh huh. What did you do? Did you stay at home and rest? Did you take medicine? Or did you go to the clinic or hospital? Yes, what did you do? You said last year you had a fever. Okay, okay here's the question. All right, there, can you understand that? Or did you understand? Yes, that's the question. What did you do when you had a fever? Can you tell me? Yes, what is it? Can you please repeat? I drink. I drink. Yes, did you drink or drunk medicine? I drink water. A uh, plenty of water, right? Yeah. Of water, yes. I think that's a very good therapy as well. Okay, so again, since we're talking about last year and it's it happened in the past, so we are going to make the verb that you said drink into past tense. So what is the past tense of drink? Do you know? Do you know the past tense of drink? Wow. Okay, it's actually drunk here. I drank plenty of water. Can you please say it? Plenty of water. Okay. Did you also take the medicines? Okay, here's my question. Did you also take some medicines? Okay, I'm going to translate it so you could also understand. Okay, please wait. There you go. Did you also take some medicines? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. You could just Fever answer. Medicine. Sorry. Yes or no? Fever medicine. Oh, so you did. So you will say, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Exactly. Okay, very good. All right, so now we will try to read and talk about the questions. So sometimes we feel very hot when you feel ill. We call this a fever. Mm -hmm. So when you feel very hot, it means you have a fever. Okay, so I have some questions here. When did you last feel ill? So you could say, can you please read the answer? Here is I love, the, I love it. felt in, ill. In, in uh -huh. Feb, February. 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 That's correct. So the question here is feel, all right? That's present tense. But when you answer, you will say felt. Okay, because it oh. happened in the past already. Okay, so when did you last feel ill? Okay, here's the question. I'm going to translate it for you. When did you uh, last feel ill? Okay, so I'm going to translate this so you could also answer the question. Uh, I last feel ill. Of November. November is easier? November or last year? <laughs> yes. Okay, here. When did you last feel ill? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, can you please say it again? I last felt I ill. Feel in 
-hmm. When was mm. that? Was it last year, uh, this year? Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, go on. What is it? I last felt ill in when? Yes. Dance. Okay, what is it? Is it um last year or this year? Yes, what is it? Is it this year? Is it October? Um, January? March? October. October. Uh, uh, January. Yeah. Oh, January. So I last felt ill in January. 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 Okay. Uh, That's I last felt ill in January. Very good. Okay, what's next? What was the matter? What was the matter? Why uh why do you feel ill at that time? Yes, here. What was the matter? My, my, my head is hot. Oh, your head was aching, right? Yes. Okay, my head was, or you can say, I had a headache. Okay. I had a headache. All right. And did you, did you feel hot? Did you feel hot that time? Yes. Okay, yes, of course. So, yes, I did. Please say, yes, I did. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much. All right, so we are done answering the three questions right there. So, as you can see, this girl has a fever, right? Yes, yeah, so yeah. in bed with fever. She is in bed with fever. Okay, so let's read about... Uh, about what is really a fever, okay? So can you please read our body? Our body like to be a team temperature. temperature. Temperature of about 37. 37. Degrees. Degrees. Okay. That's the perfect. Temperature. Temperature. To, to make, make us, us feel good, but sometimes a virus. A virus gets into our body. It makes us sick. Our body when to kill the virus, so it gets hotter. A small fever starts. Uh, about 38, 38 degrees mm -hmm. and, and a fever, a fever about 41 degrees, degrees. It is it's dangerous the high temperature also let us now that there is something wrong and we can do something to help us get better when we get better our body go back to 37 degrees and it ring again okay yes so um do you understand the passage about virus so this one is a virus yes so when it gets into our body 
we will get sick. Okay, that's why our body felt weak uh -huh, and felt mm -hmm. ill. Yeah, so that's why. Okay, so again, uh, when the temperature is 37 degrees, that's okay, okay? That's normal. Okay. It's a normal temperature. It's a perfect temperature. But when it gets higher, like 38 degrees or above, like 41 degrees, that's already dangerous. So you need to go to the hospital and have a check up. Yeah. So um, now let's write the words next to the numbers on the thermometer. So this is a thermometer. Can you please read this one? Thermometer. Right. The, right the no, 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 no. Here, here. To... This one. Can you see it? Can you see this? Thermometer. Yes, exactly. Do you know what's a thermometer? This one. It will measure how hot you are or how cold you are. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm gonna. Yes. Do you know what's a thermometer? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. So this is the translation. A thermometer, yes, we use this for us to check how much is our, um, yeah, temperature. <laughs> okay, so do you know how to read a te thermometer? Do you? Mm? Do you know how to read a thermometer like this one? Is Okay, 37. There's 37. Is it good or not good? Good. Yes. If it's 38. Good. Are you sure? Uh, no, it's not good. Not good. Yes. As I said, if it's um, going up, if the ter um, temperature is going up, it means it, you are very hot. So you are sick. If it goes down, okay, not very, very um, low, let's say 36.5, okay, that's okay, all right? It means that's a normal temperature. Yeah, so it means you're not sick. Okay, so now let's write the words next to the numbers on the thermometer. So get to hospital fever, starting feeling great. Okay, so uh, if the thermometer is, let's say, a 39.1, is it good or bad? Bad. Okay, so it means you are very cold or hot? It's hot. That's right. Okay. But if the uh, temperature is 36.9, is it good or bad? Good. Okay. It's cold. Yes. Oh, not cold. Not cold. It's just um a moderate temperature. Yes. When you say cold, mm. it means you're lower than 30s. So when you say 29, 25, that's cold. Very cold. <laughs> but I don't think people who are alive will have that kind of temperature. <laughs> okay. So the next one, how do you feel when you get a fever? I'm going to write it down. How do you feel when, all right, when you get a fever? Yes. How do you feel? Uh, you could say, I feel blank when I get a fever. Let's go on. Uh, oh, the, this one, this one. How do you feel when you, you get a fever? I feel... 
I feel weak. Bad. Bad. Okay. I feel bad or my body is weak, right? Ah. Yeah. When I get a fever. Okay. Now I want you to read it. Please read. I feel bad. I feel bad. Mm. Yes, the I one that back I off, but my body is weak. weak when I get a fever. Exactly. Okay, so I guess we're almost time. So we will just continue everything about our lesson today. Yeah, so we can move on to our next lesson. All right. So I'm so happy that you were able to cope up and understand very well our lesson today. So please keep it up and study the things that we've learned today. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Great. So anyways, thank you and see you again. Have a great night. Bye. Goodbye, teacher.